Alrighty, buddy, welcome to the final video of the Silent SK2 before I put it up below the 4010. This video is going to feature walk test. Now, for those that don't know what walk test is, walk test is basically a feature on fire alarm control panels that allows the panel to test each specific zone with the NAC sounding for at least a couple of seconds. So that way you don't have to do a full system test and actually pull in the alarm and having to evacuate the building. So it makes things a lot easier in the actual fire alarm world. So, the SK2 does come with a walk test function. So what we have to do is we have to hold down the walk test button for a few seconds. Then let go. The system trouble and the walk test LEDs will flash to indicate that you're in walk test mode. So we'll go ahead and test it out. I have here my Simplex 4251-20 T-Bar, which you saw just in the last few videos. And for Zone 2, I have my Notifier NBG-12L. So let's go ahead and demonstrate walk test. I will demonstrate Zone 1 first. And for the notification appliance, I just have my mass up. So here we go. Okay, the first sound's always the longest, indicating that the knack works. So I'll go ahead and show you the panel, because the fire alarm LED is flashing, indicating that zone one was activated. So I'll go ahead and do zone one again. And that indicated that zone one is working. So now we'll go ahead and do zone two, which is hooked up to the Notifier NBG-12L. And I'm just going to open it up and just flip the switch down. Okay. And now we got alarms indicating on zone 2 and zone 1, and zone 1 flashes twice because zone 1 was activated twice. So I'll go ahead and do zone 2 one more time. If I can open up the pull station, there we go. And that indicated that zone 2 was working. And now both zones are flashing twice indicating that both zones were activated two times. Now we can go ahead and exit walk test mode which by simply hitting system reset. And there you have it folks. That was the full video series of the Silenite SK2. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to put the SK2 right below the 4010 because this is going to be part of my fire alarm system. I thank you guys for watching and stay tuned soon for more videos. Thanks for watching.